what's keeping you fat or what's keeping you skinny or what's keeping you poor or what's keeping you unhappy or really what's keeping you away from the results that you need to get in order to be the happiest version of yourself and the most accomplished version version of yourself that you need to be is not actually a technical specific. It's actually the identity that you have about yourself. Allow me to explain. I just had a brand new client that signed up, signed up with me. In the entire discovery process, we went through how for two years straight, solid, this person has been following uh, this guy, that guy, all that kind of stuff. And he's been following all the different kinds of guys that do drug stuff like Vigorous Steve, Derek Moore plays more days, Greg Doucette, Chase Irons, uh, fucking Dave Cross, everybody. He's been following everybody's stuff and he's already tried using a bunch of different things and he hasn't gotten the results that he needs to get. He's quite overweight, overweight compared to where he needs to be, like 60, 70, 80 pounds or something like that. He said that he's been mentioning and that he's been struggling for like a really long time. You know, there's other people in his family that are like his mom or something that that calls him out and being fat. Um, there's different ways that the girlfriend looks in not in the same way or something like there's a bunch of different things that are keeping him unhappy, including the most important one, looking at himself inside the in the mirror every single day keeps him unhappy. He also said that he needs all the help and everything else that he can get and he wants to do it right now because there's no other time compared to right now to get these results. When it came towards the end of the call and to actually begin on a coaching program and to put your word where your mouth is and all that kind of stuff and to take action, he said, yo, Kaitan, this is probably not the right time for me to start off. Uh, I think because, uh, you know, in a month from now, I'm going to go to XYZ place and I'm going to have a very big event in my life, which is going to get um, immortalized as a memory. It's going to be a memory that he's going to remember forever. Uh, and because I'm going to this place once, I want to eat as much as I possibly can. I want to drink as much as I possibly can. And, you know, it won't be the right time or something for me to start off. So here's what I want you to think about. There's a version of you that's like two, uh, 300 pounds here. And there's another copy identical version of you that's a 300 pound person here, right? This version of you uh, has bad genetics and actually you guys have the exact same genetics. But this person, version of you thinks like, you know, I have tired conditions. I have this condition. I have, uh, you know, my work is this and my this is it. And like he has explain, ex explanations and excuses and valid reasons for every single thing. And then there's this version of you that is sick and tired of being 300 fucking pounds of not getting laid, of not getting the attraction and attention that he wants from women, of not liking the person that he looks in the mirror. He's sick and tired of not getting uh, attention and respect from his other guy friends. Um, he's sick and tired of just not feeling the way that he wants to feel and not living the life that he wants to live. And he's like, dude, fuck this fucking shit. I want to be 180 pounds. Fuck. I don't give a shit if I have to kill myself. I'm going to be 180 pounds. I will figure the fucking way out. Right. This guy now identifies with the guy that's 180 pounds. This guy just identifies with the guy that's 300 pounds that needs to get lose some weight. Right. This guy is already identifying as the person. I am that guy that's going to be 180 pounds. What does that 180 pound version of me do when his friends take him out for dinner and we all have pizza? He probably doesn't eat the pizza. What does he do when all of his friends or his girlfriend or someone wants to go out and, he, and she wants to drink? He probably doesn't drink alongside of her. What does this person do when he comes back from like a, a really long day of work or something, but he still has like an hour of cardio or something to do as opposed to like sitting back and just Fuck, look, I had a really tough day. Let me just sit back and enjoy some Netflix or TV or play some video games or some shit. He's probably going to be the guy that's going to be doing like an hour of cardio or something, right? This guy is going to be the guy that's probably not going to go for the ice cream. He's going to probably try and figure out some protein pancake treats or this, that, or something else. He's going to be the guy that's going to be a problem solver. No matter where he is at right now, he's going to figure out his own me methods of doing training. He's going to figure out his own methods of doing cardio. He's going to figure out his own methods of doing all kinds of recovery stuff and everything else. Any problem that he comes up with, he's going to be guy the guy that does not quit right? They're both at 300 pounds right now, plus six months of consistent action of both of these guys doing whatever the fuck that they're doing, right? This guy keeps trying to become better and keeps trying to diet. And then he gets like a, uh, like a pizza craving and he gives into the pizza craving because you know, it's fucking hard. And then, you know, one day he's busy or something, or he's really tired or something. He comes back and doesn't do the cardio. And the next day he wakes up, he's like, oh man, I promised myself I was going to do that. I didn't do it. Fuck this shit. You know, uh, I feel really bad. I'm in a bad mood or something. I'm going to eat some pizza. And that's a fucking negative downward spiral or some shit. And this guy is trying every single day to do every single thing that he can and try and do it even better and even better even better add six months of consistent action to both of these guys which one of these guys do you think even if they don't achieve their end goal even if they don't achieve their end goal which one of these two guys do you think is going to be closer to his end goal i'm going to assume you're going to say the same thing which is the guy that has the identity of 180 pounds and is moving heaven and earth to get exactly where he needs to get is probably going to make an insane amount of stride and progress compared to the guy that is does not have the identity of this of this of the 180 pounds and is just trying 
because he thinks he wants it. Just because he's just trying because he thinks he wants it. This guy fucking wants it. He needs it. He needs it to exist. It's like a breathing thing for him. And this guy would just like to have it. Like I would like to have a lot of girls. I would like to have a lot of money. I would like for money to fucking fall from the sky. I would like to have a six pack. You know all that kind of shit between these two guys and and the reason it, th this guy's gonna get results is because getting to the result requires you to take action and it requires you to take consistent action right so if for six months both of these guys keep on going and this guy is consistently taking action no matter even if he's following and his graph is going like this or some shit eventually he's going to keep on ending and reaching his goal right so what requires you to get results is not the kind of training that you're doing, not the kind of course that you have, not the kind of drug cycle that you're doing, not the kind of DMP, DMP run and what kind of milligram dosage and do you mix it with T3 or do you mix it with T4, or do you mix it with Primo or whatever the heck else it might be. It's none of those technical specifics. It is consistent action day after day doing the best that you possibly can. And the days that you fail or something, you get back up, dust yourself off and you keep on going back once again. So it's that consistent action. But in order to become the person that needs to take that consistent action, your identity needs to change. You need to be the guy that is now the guy that identifies with the 180 pound guy. If you're the guy that identifies with the 180 pound guy, or you're the guy that identifies with the six figure uh, guy that earns six figures, the six figure motherfucker is probably waking up at 8 a.m. in the morning, working for eight to 10 hours on his business, trying to do uh, listen to all kinds of fucking podcasts on money and financial health and this and this and he's probably joining up mentorships and all that kind of shit the seven figure guy is probably waking up 5 a.m in the morning is probably figuring out how to manage his teams he's trying to figure out how to like outsource different uh work so that he can do the big high value work so the identity needs to change you, you have to have an identity shift and then keep sticking to that identity that you have and keep taking consistent action so the number one thing that's keeping you from failing and not getting to the results that you need to get is not the technical specific of what you're fucking doing. It's actually the identity shift that you have to create, visualize and keep sticking with every single day. So really ask yourself, do you really want it? Do you really want the results? Because if you really want the results, there is no tomorrow. It's already today and it's already right now. What can you do in this present moment in this action that is helping you to move towards that goal? Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on so forth with the YouTube algorithm. I know this video didn't have that much editing. I'm trying my best. I'm working on the thumbnails and such, and I'm working on uh, better ideas and such. I'm doing all that kind of game plan kind of stuff right now. The thumbnails are going to keep on getting better and better because I've learned how to do them. I'm learning how to do them with AI and they're going to keep getting better. But I still wanted to get this video out there because it's one of the most important videos. And it's all for those guys that have been stuck for fucking months and months and years on end. And this is not a first time thing. This is the funniest thing. People that come to me are always, man, I've been watching your content for two years man i've been watching your content for three years i'm like bro you've never mentioned a single comment anywhere i've never seen you on my instagram I've never seen you how have you been watching my shit for two two and a half years and you know i only just found you so this is not some new shit and everybody that that has come to me has also been struggling for one year one and a half years two years or more so start taking action literally right now and you're going to be in a way better position in a place a month from now not even six months a month from now and then even better three months from now and even better six months from now and that's where the principle of momentum is going to kick in but in order for all that shit to happen, you have to change your identity right now. Hopefully that helps. Help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on, so over the YouTube algorithm. If you need some personalized help or something, my Instagram is in the uh, calendar link in the description box below. And I shall see you all next time. Peace.